Good morning, my fellow yogic travelers. I'm mighty glad to be alive today, and I hope that you are too, as we have another opportunity to live, laugh, love, learn, linger, live the life we love. Starting this week, I'm going to share some notes with you from my own PowerPoint presentations that I did for many years, both at the Yoga Circle and while I was on the road. And I'm going to start with a two-part introduction into what I call the sacred canopy. And this has to do with the fact that we're living in a time or an era, an epic a historical moment, where the things that used to work for masses of people in their society doesn't work for us anymore. First of all, we've demythologized, we exercised all of the supernatural elements out of religion. And for many people, scientific, scientific evidence has debunked so many of the claims of what we thought was the miraculous or divine intervention. So much so that it's led in the modern world to the separation of church and state. We don't have a theocracy, even though there is movements to, to try to make the United States more fundamentalist in its own approach to religion, even though I think it's clear that the founding fathers wanted a different kind of non-coercive way to allow individual preference in the subjective sphere of private religious observance. I think that's where they were going. So now we have a situation where you have to have faith in something that you know is not possible. And that just doesn't fly for a lot of us. So allegiance to religious tradition is no longer taken for granted. Allegiance is more voluntary and it's less than certain because there are no longer monopolies on reality definition, especially in a pluralistic society where we don't all understand the same sign and symbol as pre previous cultures did. All the structures of religious hierarchy are like bureaucracies and they're all vying for their market share. We're not gonna go back to the pre-industrial times and I'm not saying that technology can solve everything, but it's kind of impossible to go back. And so therefore we have to learn to bend or utilize technology with a much more humanistic vision than we have up to now. Once we understand that there's no more guarantee of adherence to the old ways, but we have to understand why those old ways work so well for so long, even though they certainly had their problems and flaws. But once you cease to coerce people in religious institutions or any kind of political rationale to do the bidding of the people who are in the top of the hierarchy. You have to realize that in the old times, these belief systems were a bulwark against anomi, or that feeling of lawlessness when people have no social guideline or rules like the Wild West. It's called the plausibility structure. Everybody buys into it and it reinforces the religious vision. That's what the psychological relevance of all those frameworks were in their own time. But through increasing secularization, pluralization, miniaturization, and democratization, love those words, look Thomas Friedman's work on um, Lexus and the olive tree, you'll get some really nice tips. But everybody is radically challenged by death. It challenges the taken for granted world and what your reality is, and everything becomes dubious at that point. But in the past, everybody bought into the system and it gave them something to move, or we say we're on the same page together. Even if people didn't agree with it privately, publicly, Everybody was with the program. But now we're in the collapse of the sacred canopy. Those things no longer cover us like an umbrella. They no longer are there to protect us. <clears throat> and so we're kind of like a free fall into the future. So I just wanted to start 
laying this out for today and tomorrow I'll continue with this. But once we understand it's up to us to find our own path to spirituality and then connect to community, make the jump out of the old way, learn to serve and let your service be part of your worship of the sacred, however you conceive that to be, and then continue to connect to people because relationship turns out to be the yoga of the West.